Well, hello. Hey Grains, before we start reviewing our fidget toy mystery boxes, I wanted to let you know that this week is the last week ever that you'll be able to get my limited edition fidget toy box. And yes, if you've ever wanted one of these cute little salt shaker plushies, it is a squishy. So in case you didn't know, you do get a limited edition squishy plushie that is a salt shaker, our little mascot, a super cool holographic sticker and sticker sheet, two galaxy fidget toys, a fidget cube, and an infinity cube because I mean let's let's remember that this is a fidget kit put together by Salty Crafter because Salty Crafter is out of this world. Uh, all, all right Salty Crafter can you just drop it back down here. <laughs> all right thank you. So remember this is your last week sales end this weekend and I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who's already picked up theirs and for those of you who don't want to pick one up or you can't pick one up I still really appreciate all the support you've given me. All right now on to the video. Today we have a huge lineup of fidget toys. I have to say this, this is probably one of the weirdest ones because even though you can see it, I can't see it, but I'm talking about it from the future. We have fidget pillows. I had no idea a fidget pillow existed, so here's two of them that you can see. I am really excited to explore them, touch them, and see if they gonna give me goosebumps. We also have something called sensory toys, which are suctions. We, we all know how I feel about being obnoxious. It's one of my hobbies. So I'm really excited to try these ones out. And then we have a bunch of balls. I'm just gonna put it out there. If you wanna giggle, go ahead and giggle. Get it out of your system. I get you. I know how you feel. I'm giggling with you. We have something that is a fidget toy mat. I'm guessing these are Orbeez and Sensory, so we won't touch it. And then we have different kinds of, I guess six different kinds of fidget balls. I wonder if any of them are like the poppet one that we tried in a previous video, cause that one was Chef's kiss. Next, we also have adult balls. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> fidget balls. Adult fidget. I'm sorry. Adult fidget balls that have words of encouragement and apparently scented too. So we can we go sniff them. We can sniff the fidget balls. <laughs> And then last but not least, we have something called a pug in a mug. It was one dollar. I'm like, I'm gonna get it and we're just gonna find out what it is. Let me know in the comment section below which one do you think is going to be the most interesting and which one do you think is going to be absolute garbage. Or as I should say, it goes in the trash. Oh, and if you're into fidget toys and mystery boxes, make sure you subscribe. I do have sharp pointy things that I can wave at you and you, you like it. You don't mind? You like it all notifications while you're there. All right, if we're gonna start this video right, we absolutely need to start with what can be the most obnoxious ever. So let's go ahead and try the suction cups. This here is called Suction Pals. It says that you can pop it, stretch it, and stick it. Calm your mind and engage your senses. I can see the commercial for that already. Let's start with some Zen music. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, my friends. Do you want to calm your calm mind and engage your senses? Mind. You have come to the right place, yes, the salty spa, where you get to be obnoxious with suckets. I mean suction cups. <laughs> and the back of the box looks really fun. I mean, look at them. They're upside down, they're holding hands, they're stretching, and it only cost me $5 because I got it from Five Below. All right, enough chitty chatty. Let's see what we get inside. Alright, so here are our two characters. They're really light. Actually, a lot lighter than I thought they would be. They're supposed to be stretchy. Ooh, it's a little scary. I'm really scared that I'm going to rip it, but that's what we're here for. Let's test out the suction. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so upside down. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that is quite the suction. Uh. The suction is so strong that it actually makes being obnoxious a little bit more difficult. Let's try the feet. Look at me. I am walking. Rawr. Ah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am suction cup. Suction cup. Look at me dance. I'm a suction cup. Okay, actually, I got goosebumps because I was a little too involved. <laughs> Okay, so we have the suctions that can go together here, comes off, and the character does 
stay pretty firm here. I did move them quite a bit, but it is pretty firm on the table. You can really make it do quite a few things. I kind of really like this. I thought I could start a little salty, but this is really fun. Because it does stay in place, you can actually move it around. Let's try the other one. Here's the bigger one. No, wait a minute. Wait. Okay, here's the little one. Okay, get a good look at that. The big one has a tie. It's a little business person. There's a little tie. Little business. You're getting business and you're getting busy. I like this. It's a desk. <laughs> it's a desk, buddy. Uh, I need to file my taxes, my papers over here, my computers over here, but I'm going to do the shuffle. Okay, I'm going to stop right now. <laughs> Okay, let's see the suction on this one. Pretty good. Pretty good. These would be wonderful for your desk. We have the hands that actually go a little further. So you can... Oh no. You can move it back and forth like this too. How about... Oh no. Oh, this has many ways to be interesting. For five dollars only. I have goosebumps again. Dang nabbit. Okay, let's try this. Let's move you. Yeah, this one also, hook it on here, hook it on there. Oh, hang on. There we go. And you can move it back and forth like a so. Now, it doesn't suction too well sometimes if you move it, but you can suction them together. Oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> no, oh gosh, what did I do? No, 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 come out. Okay, that was easier than I thought. I panicked too soon. So if you do put them together, you just gotta peel it off like this. But if you try to pull it, they're on there. Oh my god, I love these so much. You have our business person and the wee little person, like us all. I'm going to give these holy shrimp, other than the fact that you do need a surface and they're not... <sighs> Look, I'm weak. Nine and a half on ten. This is the, I think this is one of like the rare ones that gets a really good mark. So, nine and a half on ten. Starting pretty solid. Next, also at five dollars, I hadn't realized that this is the exact same company that we got the suction fidget toys from because it has our now new favorite thing that is called Calm your mind and engage your senses. You have come to the right place. Yes, the salty spa. And in this pack, we have six different fidget toys that come with different textures, different feels. They say that you can feel it, roll it, spin it, and that's that's about it. So I'm curious if it's, it's really anything special or <laughs> these are really colorful and they're kind of stacked like a triangle so i guess let's start from the top and see what oh oh and see what's up with that i guess is that like a squeeze toy feels like a dog toy just missing the squeaker is it me it really just feels like a dog toy with the squeaker not inserted. Dog toys should sound like this. Well, yeah, there's nothing really special. I, I can spin it like so. But I mean, it's nothing really that special. It's nothing I haven't seen at the dollar store. It's not really fidgety, unless I were a dog. Is this for dogs? No, no. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give this a, a zero on 10. Let's start with this one. Please be a poppet, please. Push it. No, it's not. What the heck? So it looks like the Poppet Ball fidget toys, like that one as we did in the previous video, but look how satisfying it was. Like a saw. Very nice. Oh my god. But this one is just a hard, bumpy ball. Oh my god. Wait, there's a hole? Oh no. And there's just poor design over here. And again, oh gosh. Uh, oh, oh, sure, are you, okay, you're done. Yeah, I can see these as kind of massage balls, but I just don't see them as being fidget toys. Oh gosh, yeah, zero on 10 again for that one. And now we're going with the spiky one, because the non-spiky one was not painful enough. Where's the dog toy hole? There we go. And, oh, very unpleasant. It's not even squishy. It, it genuinely, look at that. It's genuinely unpleasant. You see the little marks it's making in my head? Let me show you. Here I am squeezing it. And you see the little indents on the inside. And it's, it's just... <sighs> Again, zero on ten for this one. Let's take something different. Let's go ahead with this spiky one. And, uh, oh, okay, so it's from here. It doesn't squeeze. Nope. What am I supposed to do with you? I guess I could do this. 
Oh, that took a lot of power. That took a lot of strength to do that. So it's, no, no, no. I can't even blow air on my face. It's kind of dirty. Look at that. It's gross on the inside. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of gross on the inside. So I do not recommend. Does it bounce fun? No, it doesn't even bounce. Look at that. Doesn't even roll nice. Doesn't, doesn't bounce nice. Nope, how about you? Nope, you? It does sound good though. Hang on. Oh, I like the way that sounds. How about you? Okay, I'm seeing where this could be good. Let's hear you. Okay. Okay, the sound is interesting. How about you? Are you useful? No, this one's useless. Let's try the moon orange one. And again, same thing. It just, it, it just caves in. Not interested. Are you going to come out? Are you? Okay, there you go. Are you... All right, let's roll you. At some point, it's just the same thing. And then last but not least, we have a green one. Again, dog toy missing the squeaker. Nothing interesting other than the texture and... It rolls okay. I'm still gonna give this entire pack a 0 on 10. It wasn't interesting. I don't see myself taking it to an office, to my class, absolutely nowhere. And it didn't give me goosebumps, so negative points for that. And now, let's go ahead and try the fidget pillows. One of them looks more like an owl, I guess, and the other one is just super colorful. Now, I don't know if they're the same, but I did get them from Amazon. This one was $28. I haven't opened it yet, even though you saw it at the beginning. I didn't see it yet. And this one was $32. So I'm curious to see what's the difference and which one is better. So as you can see from the listing, this one is called Tay Toy Buckle Sensory Pillow Toys for Toddlers Montessori. Now, I don't like when these things label because I feel like anyone can fidget and it feels good to fidget and it just helps relieve stress. But basically it's called an activity pillow fine motor development. All the keywords that they want. And it's really colorful. I can see numbers. I'm not sure what the numbers mean just yet. And if we scroll, it shows you the back, the front. There seems to be buckles, things that we can actually not. I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure what I'm looking for. All I know is that it looks fun. And it does have a rating of four stars at 659 reviews. So let's get a good feel of our little fidget pillow. It's so colorful on the pictures. Oh, very soft. Okay, so first impression, holy shrimp, that's a lot to do. And it looks like felt, but it's not felt, oddly enough. So this here does feel like felt. This feels more like an actual pillow that you would put on your couch, very soft. And in the back, we have a lot of buckles. Where do you go? Where do you belong? Oh, this is probably here. Is this broken? I think it's broken. Oh no, I think it's broken. All right, so I think this is actually broken, I believe, unless this is supposed to go this way. Is this, is this what I'm doing? Like so, and then clip it in. Aha, it's not broken. Okay, okay, let's unbuckle everything. All right, so on this side, it really is just buckle things. I see a zipper hidden somewhere in the depths of this. Honestly, this looks like such a great activity so far. I feel like it's really going to keep someone busy and find motor skills. Even for those who need to work on physiotherapy, I think this is a great idea. And then the other side, I'm not sure what to do yet. This is obviously to tie things. This looks like a physiotherapy pillow and a relaxation pillow. Don't just label it for one person. This feels like it could be very useful. Okay. And here we have buttons and more things, but I want to go through this mess first. Let's start off with the one I, I said was broken. So here we go, we unbuckle this. This one, oh, I know these ones. These ones are the ones that you push through both sides. So far, so good. This one's more like a traditional belt. Okay, okay. And the little, does this move or is this gonna be annoying? Are you annoying? A little bit. This one is a little, okay, it moves. Voila. <gasps> I love clips. Now, I don't know about you grains, but if my backpack or my bag has those little clips, this one over here, I keep doing this. It's just non-stop. I don't know why, but I do do this. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you do do this too? <laughs> okay, so we have this clip. It feels very nice, very smooth. Doesn't have that weird resistance. I like it. And we have this clip. How do you feel? Oh, okay. Also clip. 
in and out where it needs a little release in and out and what I like about this is that it doesn't take much force so for those of us with chronic conditions and pains and arthritic pains you really don't need that much power to get something done so I like this voila and the last one is basically the same actually you know what I'm gonna put my felt under it because it's just scratching my surface stop it there <laughs> this one's probably a release also yeah, I've never seen this one before. I've never seen a circular one. But yeah, again, almost no power whatsoever to get these going. Okay, I love you. This is phenomenal. Oh, I get it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the numbers that we see, these are how you're supposed to thread this rope. I was going to say wire. The rope. But first, let's see what's in the zippers. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, what's in here? Okay, alphabets. That's pretty good. The zipper is nice, pretty sturdy. It has in it has it has oomph to it. And I'm guessing the rest of the alphabet is going to be over here. Yeah, there you go. Nice zipper. So if you really don't even want to buckle, stop making noise. Here. You can do this and nobody's gonna tell you you're gonna ruin a jacket. It's for you now. Okay, that is neat. All right, and we do have the rope that technically ties at the end over here. Ugh, I hate unraveling things. It's like, you know when you go order takeout and then they really tie those bags really strong and then you try meticulously to unravel the little knots and then you end up tearing the bag? That's me. I do not have the patience to unravel the little thing one at a time. But let's go ahead and do that because I think that's the whole point of this activity. I got you. I got you fan. There we go. Okay, so this is number 10. It's coming up for number 10. Goes through number 9. 8. Oh gosh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? 6, 7. Can I just pull it all at once? All the way up. Oh, and it's attached. Oh, it's attached. Okay, I'm gonna pull it all out. Like uh, so. There. And the good thing about this rope here is that the tip is actually firm. So you don't have to worry about it wiggling through these little holes. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's what he said. So for example, if we want to put it through number one, look at that. Nicely through number one. It's kind of like threading a needle. This, I like this. I don't like sewing, but I really like the fact that it's really easy to just push it through the different little compartments. Or like lacing, I'm not, I'm not gonna fix this. It's like lacing a shoe without the worry or the stress of it. Number three, look at that. That actually feels really good. Fidget pillow, where were you all my life? You soft, you interactive, you full of activities. I have goosebumps from you. You make my life so much better now, I love you. And now basically for the next part of the fun is basically just clipping everything that you have in whatever order you want. But I'm guessing that these clips have to be first, then you turn it around and then you do the buckle things which I've never been a fan of buckle things, but there's no, no stress to that. This is probably my least favorite, this green one right here. But okay, let's just, let's get you through the hole. I don't like you so much. There we go. And then these ones in and out like so. And then the last one here that I thought was broken, but it is definitely not broken. You have to lift, pull it to the other side and clip. Definitely great for physiotherapy. Look at that, there. But we do have this side. Now this side doesn't seem to be much of an activity. I think it's just kind of moving things back and forth because nothing moves here. So we can't really remove this. Just kind of push down, move from one side to the other. So it's almost like a fidget toy, basically. Repetitive movements that don't require much thought in order to help you relax. So that's what I see here. Same thing with this one. I don't know how to use this. Does anyone know? Oh, okay, this is an unbuckle. Okay, so this is unbuckling. Wait, so this one should be unbuckling too, right? No. Nothing unbuckles here. This one really doesn't unbuckle, but this one unbuckles like that. In and out. And then we have the buttons. Okay, very easy. The holes are very, very big, like so. Ooh, hello, little bear. Well, hello there, Jackie. Fancy seeing you here, little bear. I'm only here to hide because I am evil, and you can only find me by accident. 
Okay, this review went crazy real fast. Okay, we just we just gonna kind of hide you over here. What are you doing? You think you can hide me? I'm not scared. The, don't do this. No, stop it. And then the last one here, again, kind of like shoelaces and putting the, I don't know, what are they called? Shoelaces, yeah, just shoelaces through the hole. Oh no, is that another bear? Do you think you can get away with hiding my brother? We're just gonna, I'm just gonna keep that like that. So I'm going to have to say that this fidget pillow, minus the fact that it's not portable, maybe they can make a mini version with fewer things, but still the same concept. I'm going to give this a nine on 10 because it has so many different elements of fidgeting, of physiotherapy, anxiety relief, a little bit of everything. For me, definitely worth the $28. But now we have the owl looking character. Are you better? I don't know. Oh. oh, it crinkles. Oh no. It crinkles. Oh no. <laughs> All right, back with the felt so that we don't keep scratching the surface. So first thing that is really different is we do have some kind of texture that crinkles. The feet, no, just the little wings. There's definitely a lot less going on in terms of the activity on one side. Actually, let me double check the price. Oh, it's $26 now. Okay. And it only has 10 reviews, which is one of the reasons why I picked it up because I'm like, 10 reviews, this must be going in the trash. But so far, it's really soft. It has that same pillow type of texture, kind of, like honestly, like a plushie. This crinkling is so good. All right, let's unzip. And it's basically just a little pocket on one side. Nothing special anywhere else. It does say like, hello friends, how are you today? <laughs> okay, zip it. Oh, that's that's actually a good one. Okay, let's 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 try this again. Oh, hello. Did you hear about my favorite anime? And I want everybody to watch it. It's called ABC. And it's like, shh, shh, shh. I'm busy. <laughs> Zip it. I'm so entertaining. All right, and the other side. Okay, it seems like we have the same type of activities as this one. Okay, even the same colors? No, different colors. All right, so we do have the regular belt buckle type. I really wanna go all the way down just so that we have an idea what's going on at the bottom. This one's done. This one, done. This one is the in and out, done. Same buckles, this is the circular. Cito belto. Oh, there we go. And the clip. Aha. Uh -huh. And instead of numbers, here we have, you're going to thread the actual rope through the alphabet, kind of this way. Very simple, very straightforward. Again, not a big deal. I actually quite enjoyed the other one. I found it pretty relaxing, except here you have more of those threading things. And then down here, you have a clip that you can unclip like this. You know what? I think they just kind of shoved everything on one side. This one also, same thing, just push in and out to move it back and forth. And then we get more zippers. Nothing on this side for the zipper. So there's no reveals per se. I don't really care for the reveals unless you're really, I guess, learning something. The zipper on the other side. And that's it. This one came with buttons and more lacing. So it is $2 more expensive, I believe. So as great and cute as this one is, I'm going to have to say that this one is definitely the superior fidget toy and physio activity. I really don't want to hit myself with this thing. <laughs> so nine on 10, I'm going to say eight. And now it's time for scented balls. Fidget balls, yay. I never really saw a use for scented fidget balls, but I guess you never know until you smell it, right? I mean, pl play play with it. I mean, fidget, there's just no right way to say it. So we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze them. You're done, you're done. <laughs> I can smell them from here already. So they say there's three different levels of squishiness. So let's see. We got pink balls, we got blue balls, and the extra level of purple ball. This is exactly where the channel is at right now. Welcome to the family. 
So we do have these little affirmations on it. This one's called motivation, maintain focus. Positivity, you are enough. Do they mean like I'm too much? Like you're enough. Like you are enough. You need to stop this, you're enough. Is that, is that what it is? Cause I'm not feeling very positive at this point. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a burden. Oh, oh, very minty. Okay, eh, that's an interesting texture. It feels like it's a mochi fidget toy wrapped inside a cloth. So it has a very firm kind of texture, interesting, but it's definitely a mochi on the inside. If you're not sure what a mochi fidget toy looks like, here it is. Next one here is called gratitude, remain thankful. For some reason, I feel like it's toxic positivity, but whatever, that's just me. Okay, remain thankful and then kindness. Open your heart. Oh, that is way firmer. This one's pretty squishy. That one, holy shrimp. Yeah, you have to use a lot of your forearms for it. I guess it's good if you really want to work your forearms. Oh, that hurts already. I'm not ready for this. And then, oh wait, I didn't sniff it. Hello? This smells like nothing. And then the blue fidget toy is called health, your best self. If only health were that easy, I would do it. Okay, just get healthy, please. Energy feel rejuvenated. I feel like whoever wrote this really has not gone through any kind of struggle in their life. <laughs> so this one is, okay, this one is definitely the softest. And lavender. So far, this one is minty, smells the best. I think this is lavender, but the smell is almost not there. And this one just doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, nothing. So this is here the softest, medium, or is it? They almost feel the same. What's that sound? <laughs> That's weird. Okay, they feel like they're the same, even though it says it's different. Let's try, okay, this one left. Okay, yeah, this one is the softest, this is second, and this one is the hardest. You know what? They could be probably used for massages. You know where you have different balls that you can help yourself with massaging different parts of your body, your sciatic nerve and whatnots. I feel like because these are soft enough, they you could get away with this. So as a fidget toy, I'm going to give this probably a one on 10, but I haven't used them for massaging yet. So I'll, I'll probably update you in an Instagram story or on Twitter or something. And last but not least, we have mug and a pug. What? Wait, pug and a mug. <laughs> So pug in a mug is just a dollar and there's a pug in, in a mug. And I think it says squeeze me, squeeze the mug. All right, we ready? Okay, okay, yeah, sure. You know what? It works, it goes in and out. How does it feel? It's a mochi and it just goes back in. It feels good for $1, yeah, why not? I'm going to give this a basic grade and give it a 6.5. So it's not great. It's not bad. It's okay. Remember again that this is your last chance. This is the last week to pick up the out of this world de-stress fidget kit that comes with the ever so wanted plushie of the salt shaker. The last time a salt shaker plushie was released was two years ago. So don't miss out on this one. And again, you're getting all these amazing things, the holographic sticker, the sticker sheet, two galaxy themed fidget cubes and the plushie for $29.99. Considering the plushie last time alone was about $25. This is an amazing deal. I'll leave the link down below. And if you want to watch more fidget toy things, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something a little bit more mystery box unboxing, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.